Welcome back to the JVZoo training videos. In this section, we're going to cover affiliate options. There are five sections under affiliate options, and I'll just go to them one at a time. These are the sections that are very important if you're selling products that require affiliates, which is basically the whole idea behind JVZoo. JVZoo is a platform that makes it very easy for affiliates to find your products and sell your products and get paid an instant or a delayed commission. So let's dive right in. First thing we're going to go to is affiliate requests. This is where you will find the people who have requested to promote your product. Let's go to that page right now. Now they have a very important warning here and a very important video. I definitely suggest if you have not watched this video on this page, please do so. I'm going to summarize it though. Basically the security warning in the red box here is what you need to know. You have two different ways that you can pay your affiliates. You can give them instant commission, which means when they send a buyer to your product, they get paid their commission instantly. Now that's a great thing for the affiliate, but it can cause problems for you if the affiliate is not reliable. If the affiliate is pulling scams on you, if they're sending bad buyers, if they're using stolen credit cards, whatever, JVZoo has a lot of safeguards that are in place, but there are always things that can be figured out or screwed around with. If they get paid instantly and they take all of the money out of their PayPal account right away and the buyer says something like, hey, I never bought this, why is this on my credit card, and they want a refund, it will not be able to pull the commission back from the affiliate's PayPal account. You will have to pay not only the portion that you received, but also the commission back. You'll have to do a manual payment of that, and it will come out of your pocket. So you lose money on that transaction. For this reason, the only people that you should approve for instant commissions are affiliates that you actually know that have a good history, either with you, with JVZoo, or ideally all of the above. And I'll show you how you can get some information on their history in just a moment here. If you're not giving them instant commission, you should give them delayed. You also obviously have the ability to deny them the ability to sell your product for a commission. You can click the denial button if it's someone that you just don't want to have promoting your product, and we'll show you that. Delayed commission will not pay them immediately. You have to go in and manually, after whatever period of time you decide on, go into transaction payouts and delayed transaction payouts and manually tell JVZoo, okay, it's time to release the commission for that affiliate. That will most likely be after your refund time period. One other thing you can do is you can auto-approve a user. What this does is it will approve that particular affiliate for instant commissions, and it will approve them automatically in the future for any of your other products. So if you have someone you're working with that you know and trust, and you know that in the future they're going to want to promote your other products, you can auto-approve them. Now there is a group of affiliates called premium affiliates. JVZoo designates these people as premium affiliates. They are trusted by JVZoo. They have a significant history with JVZoo and they fulfill a number of other conditions to become designated as premium affiliates. Those people by default will be automatically approved to promote your products. You are able to disapprove them so that they don't automatically get approved. You can change a setting within your account settings in here, and that will turn that off, turn that default off, so that when one of those premium affiliates requests to promote your product, their request will show up in this list that I'm just about to show you here, and you will have to manually approve them. Personally, I don't really see the point in that, because these are people that you want to have promoting your product. So I'm personally okay with those premium affiliates um, promoting your product. So let's get down to business here. Let's look at the affiliate request chart. Here's a chart of my affiliate requests that are waiting to be approved. Now I've blocked out 
some of the uh, details, actually most of the details, because these are private. But I can tell you what you're not seeing and what, what uh, you should be watching for. Up at the top here, we do have a chart where you can pull down a list of affiliate names, how many rows to show, what particular products to show if you're looking for requests for a specific product. Pull those down or put a keyword in and click search and you'll get only those results. The bulk actions is what happens if you select multiple requests here. You can auto approve all of them. You can approve them for instant commissions, delayed commissions, or denial. And then you click the apply and it does whatever action you uh, selected. So what you'll see in each of these rows is you'll see the affiliate name, which we'll show here. I'm highlighting it underneath the block out, underneath the blurring, so you get a little bit of an idea of what you're seeing. Then there's an envelope. And when you move over the envelope, you can click that envelope and it will allow you to send a message through JVZoo's own system to that affiliate if you want to ask them some questions before you approve them. You do have a limit each day of how many messages you can send. That helps prevent affiliate spamming. You'll see in parentheses what country that affiliate is from. You will see down here their actual email address. And you'll see a, a denotation of how long the affiliate has been a member of JVZoo, how many years and how many days. In this column, Sold, you'll see a number showing the range of how much they've sold. It will not show the actual amount. And this is not showing how many of their own products they've sold. This is only how many products they've sold as an affiliate and if you notice the little asterisk here after the word sold, what it's showing you is only the amount of products that they've sold that have cleared the refund period. This is an additional safeguard to show you a true number of products that have actually been sold as an affiliate and have not refunded. So this number is actually going to be lower than their total sales as an affiliate, but you're only seeing the ones that are quote unquote safe, that have not refunded. Then we're going to see another very important statistic. How many of, of their affiliate products, what percentage they've sold that have refunded. If you see a very high number, like over, I would say to me an, an, an unusually high number would be over say 12% refunds. You want to take that into account when you decide how you're going to approve these. Over here in this last column, you see what product they're requesting to uh, promote. And then over here, you see notes. If, there's, if this blue symbol is here, then you can move over the symbol and you'll see a pop-up, which is the comments that they've left, which can give you additional information on how they're going to promote what you need to know. Over time, you'll get to see that some of these notes are copied and pasted. If they have very low sales and they say that they have a very high number of people on their email list, you know that something's fishy. I'll go into some more tips later on um, what to watch out for. But at this point, with each request, you can either click the Instant button to approve them for instant commissions, Delayed for delayed commissions, deny to deny them, or all to auto-approve them. If you select all or instant, you'll see a pop-up asking if you're sure that you want to do that because you don't want to do it on people who are quote-unquote dangerous affiliates. If you want to do the same action for everyone on your list, you can click multiple boxes, or you can click the box at the top here. It will select everyone on the list. You can click a bulk action and then click apply. So if I wanted to give delayed commissions to everyone, I would click delayed and then apply.